Now that you have your projector location finalized, your setup and mount is all created, it's finally time to map your house, which is kind of the fun part actually. So let's get to the software. So we'll head to the location, again, Digital Pressworks. It's an amazing site, like I said, for a bunch of useful information. They do have a projection mapping software. You can also use PowerPoint as well as Paint, but this software is specially designed for projection mapping, so it's much cleaner and way easier to use. So just download the version that's compatible to your laptop. The installation is pretty straightforward. And a shout out to Digital Pressworks. Once you've done your mapping, you can send your mapping files to them and you can also purchase the videos that they've created. The videos are about 100 bucks, which in my opinion, if you want to create your own shows, it usually takes for sure over 10 hours. I would say it's decent value for time. But you want to create your own custom shows? Let's get into it. So what you want to do is you want to set your laptop to duplicate your displays with the projector. So just right click display properties. Mine is currently set to extend. I just want to hit duplicate. So my projector and my mo laptop monitor should be displaying the exact same thing. Then open up the mapping software and start drawing on your house. Draw out each feature that you think is important. A quick tip, I personally prefer to draw my lines slightly outside the area I want to mask out. Another key aspect is while you're mapping your house, also map the insides of your garage at least the straight lines and the angles that the walls make inside the garage so that when you create effects like garage opening and you have stuff inside the garage, we have a reference of how the walls are angled. Another important aspect is do take pictures of the mapping with your camera so that when you're actually creating a show, a couple of lines could seem pretty confusing and at that time the reference picture would surely come in handy. Now, in case your projector resolution doesn't happen to be 16 by 9, the digital press work software may not work. In that cases, like I mentioned, you could use Microsoft Word, PowerPoint, or Paint to draw an image. But the challenge with those softwares is to get them to actually be editable in full screen. You can maximize the window as much as you can, but to actually have it full screen and draw on it is sometimes a challenge. And that's the challenge I noticed. And you want to have it full screen. Otherwise, you're sort of wasting some part of your projector output. You want to reduce pixel wasted as much as possible. So you want to use the entire screen. So what I found to be useful was this software called Presentation Assistant. So this is a software which essentially helps mark up your screen while you're presenting something. So I'm missing the main control panel. Once it shows up, all you need to do is draw on screen. So it's all brand new and fresh. So this particular software, I'll leave the link in the description. It's a paid software, but it has a 30 day free trial. For our purposes, all we're gonna use this is for pretty much 30 minutes. So essentially there's no reason to pay for this software. So what you wanna do is hit this line and just start drawing. And you draw the lines as you see on the projector output and the lines should match what you wanna mask. So that's the whole objective. As you can see, there's a bunch of garbage on my screen. It's a complete mess. You surely don't wanna draw on this sort of surface where you can't really see clearly. So what you would do in that case is just come in here again to the software. You have to right click, I believe, to exit. So come back in here and choose whiteboard. Once you're on whiteboard, hit view full screen. So this way you have a clear screen to draw and there's no disruptions. You can see everything extremely clear. Again, let me clear this out. This was my last test pattern. Let me just clear this out. Okay, so just pick a line again. Just draw something. There we go. Oops. And you need the straight line tool because I certainly cannot draw straight lines just using my mouse if I pick a freehand tool. So there's a freehand tool that you can use to draw. And also there's a polygon tool where you can just hit dots and it'll connect automatically and you double click to end the polygon. So it's pretty straightforward. I'll just end it looking something like a house. So 
of course you want to draw this again looking at the projector and matching it to what you want it to look like and in case the software that you pick does not have a feature to get this white background all you gotta do is head to google download a white image with a resolution that matches your projector's native resolution and open that image up and then start drawing so that you're not dealing with all the desktop icons that i had a quick little note when you open the image don't open it in a software like picture viewer or something open it in your video player i'll show you when i save this mask open it in your video player so that you actually play true full screen like you would when your video is actually exported so that's how you can get widescreen even if you're not using this exact software so now let's say you're done with all the mask lines you wanted to your software might have ways where you save image the digital press work software certainly has it so please don't use that i can't stress this enough always grab a screenshot that way you ensure what you're looking at right now in this moment in time that's what you want to save sometimes when you save images they could be a different resolution or something could get altered and you put in all the effort for an hours and days and weeks to create a show head out with all the excitement to test it out and it doesn't align that is absolutely miserable it has happened to me that's why i keep stressing let's not do that again so take a screenshot you can use print screen but the easiest way on a windows laptop is press windows plus print screen so you saw the screen dim for a quick second so it captured the screen that way you not only get a print screen in your clipboard it actually saves an image file in your pictures folder let me head to it and i bet there's an equivalent shortcut in apple as well so here we are in the pictures folder it automatically created a folder called screenshots before we take down the projector and our entire masking setup we want to make sure the mask we captured is completely right and it aligns with the house so step one to do that is right click properties head to details and check the dimensions it should match the native resolution of your projector so that's step one step two is actually open up this image and check it out if it lines up because that's the end objective anyways right so you can notice what happens when you use a regular software to open photos like this is the photos app as you can see there's a toolbar right here and i bet the image is not being displayed to its true resolution so this is not what you want to do use a video playing software in my case i use vlc media player like use whichever video playing software you guys use get the image in here play the image and play the image in full screen now if your soft photo viewing software allows for full screen that's awesome so play this video full screen pause it so you can look at the image check out your projector output if it lines up and if it does you're good to go so that way we know for sure that the image we have saved is the perfect size and it plays exactly like we need on the final output so we can reliably use this image as a mask and we know things will line up so that's it with masking guys now whether you're using one projector or two the steps for masking do not change at all if you're projecting on another side of your house with a second projector you have to just repeat the step with your second projector so that's it in that case of course you'll have two masks one for your front or your side or you're splitting your front into two halves regardless that's what you'll have so that's it guys when it comes to masking you're all good to go see you in the next class